everyday life. Y'all, y'all know I'm full of projects, right? First of all, welcome, welcome to the channel again. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel, okay? Please, I'm trying to get some. I'm trying to get a little subscribers here, guys. But um, look, I got, I got something. I was, I don't know if I mentioned it in the video or whatever, but I bought two trailers, right? One's a five by ten, and one's a four and a half by eight. I think, yeah. So, guys, I got both of these trailers for uh, six eighty. So what I did, I'm gonna show you the trailers in a little bit. So what I did for one of the trailers, I sanded it down with a 150 grit and I did a block. I'm gonna show you the sandpaper. My buddy gave me this sandpaper here and then I used this block. I'm gonna show you the trailers too. So this is one of the trailers I'm starting on now. I'm gonna spray paint it a flat black. Um, this is the paint I'm using. Rust only stops rust flat protective enamel. So I want the flat black. Um, got both trailers for 680. That's the other one too. Both in good shape. Just got just need a little paint, but both in good shape. I couldn't be happy, I couldn't be more than happy with the deal. Um just this one here. The fender has to be bent out. Or I might take the fender off or whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, I'm gonna show you where I got so far. So this is this is how it looked after I sanded it down. So and this is how it looks when I started painting it. That's pretty good so far. So I'm gonna go back to spray painting it. Trying to do the whole trailer today shouldn't take long because it's not that bad just did a little surface rust areas but that's not that bad um it's hot as hell out here today it's like 90 some degrees and this is what it, if it, it ain't 90 degrees that's what it feel like so um i'm uh go back to doing this and show you guys the process the easiest way to spray paint a trailer and fix the surface really because if the surface was not that bad you would at least want to fix it so it won't potentially get bad in the future so you want to stop it as quick as possible if you do see any so want to go over certain spots too so if you miss a spot you want to go back over it just you know and i try not to leave a lot of overspray so see this bottom rail down here again show you how I spray it. It's not really a technique of doing it, but I just do it you know, like this. You don't want to stay in the same spot. Damn wind out here getting it. Start to draw in. And it's good to do it outside when it's hot. At least not the wind blowing anyway. So we can go ahead and start to dry so you can see what spots you need to go back over and stuff like that. So we do this again.
back and forth motions, you know, stroke motions. They'll never stay in the same spot. If you spray paint before, you know how to do this. And I like this tip, this tip on it. It says easy tip. Ain't that damn easy. But if you look at the surface for us. Yeah guys, I'ma cut this video and I'ma show you guys the um, finished result after I do it. Just wanted to let you guys see, um, you know, what it looked like before I got it and whatever. But I'll let y'all know after I'm finished with it. What's going on everybody? I'm back. And I know I left you guys off with that when I did that uh, trailer little restoration thing. It's not a little project, but like I said, I told you guys I got, uh, two trailers and I paid 680 for both trailers. One is a four and a half, four foot eight inches uh, by eight. Uh, uh, and this one here is five by 10. I'm gonna show you guys the paint work I did on it. I do little odds and ends on it, but for the most part, it's painted. Yes, sir. I looked up y'all on two trailers. Looked up, can't get no better than that. So, if you're gonna, if you're gonna buy an old trailer, um. You want at least, you want to at least do, um, you know, sand it down. Um, uh, what's you know, sandpaper, 150 grit. Um, I use 150 grit and I use a sand block. Um, I don't know if it matters, but 150 grit bites down to the the surface a lot quicker for some reason. I mean, the, the surface rust on the trailer won't bad, but in some spots it was bad. So I used 150 grit, and I, you know, I did it soft. Uh, so I can get a smooth finish uh, around the whole trailer. Uh, and I did a flat black um, paint. I don't know if I'm gonna gloss it or not. I'm not sure, but um, that's what worked for me. I mean, I might do a little, I might still get another can of paint and um, hit a little couple spots that I may have missed. I'm gonna spray this spot right here. It's kind of hard to do because I try not to hit the words and stuff, the little stickers that's on the, the thing that you pull with or whatever. But yep, y'all, that's it. Spray painting the trailer, got both trailers for $680. I looked up, it was a lucky day for me. I hit the lottery because trailers nowadays are hard to come by. So I did that, that was my project for the day. I'm gonna ride the ATV, see if I can get a little shot, couple shots for you guys. Um, um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get some shots for you rolling and See how fast I can get it. I'm still breaking it in and stuff like that. I got five hours on it, a little bit, a little bit over five hours, and I got about 40 some miles on it, maybe 50, 50 miles on it now. Um, so the belt should be more than broken in by now, but I'm still taking it easy. But um, if I pick up that video, if I if I do decide to ride today, I'm gonna shoot it, and I'll see you guys there.